na kwanza na azimio hileo imetia saini mkataba wa maelewano na ajenda ya kikao hicho kinachotarajiwa kwanza siku ya Ijumaa hatua ya leo ni muhimu kwani mazungumzo baina ya pande hizo mbili ya mengoa nanga rasmi na yanatarajiwa kukamilika baada ya miezi miwili kamati hiyo ya maridhiano tayari imetoa hati ya kisheria kwa kamati inayowateua makamishna wapya wa IEBC kuwa swala hilo linapigwa msasa <tos> Hayawi hayawi hatimaye huwa. Kamati ya maridhiano inayowakilisha Kenya Kwanza na Azimio siku ya Jumatano ilitia saini mkataba wa maelewano jinsi kuendesha mazungumzo na ajenda ya mazungumzo hayo. Mazungumzo hayo ambayo yatanza rasmi siku ya Ijumaa ili kupanga ajenda ikiwa ni hatua muhimu kwani mazungumzo hayo yanatarajiwa kukamilika kwa miezi miwili ijayo this is serious national work if ever there was a moment that this country should come together it is now and, and we are determined uh, as, as a team to make sure that happens and we continue to Kenyans to ignore the naysayers there always be those who do not who feel threatened for whatever reason by something so illustrious because this is wonderful work we are happy to inform the country that following our meeting this morning we have now agreed on the framework agreement we have appreciated the, the senate for the work they put in yesterday and recognize that now our 60 days begin ticking from yesterday and that is why we reaffirm our commitment to complete this process within the set timelines kamati hiyo ambayo itachukua maoni kutoka kwa wakenya na washikadau vile vile imetoa hati ya kisheria kwa jopo linalowasaka makamishna wapya wa IEBC na huenda jopo hilo likafika mbele ya kamati hiyo licha maswali kuibuka kuhusu hatima ya kazi yake you never know you could end up with a reconstitution the panel itself you never know everything is on the table Uh, we, we really don't speculate on what will come out of the dialogue process yes. uh, therefore when we engage that's why we ask them to kindly take judicial notice that it's one of the issues on the table agenda ya mazungumzo hayo yamegawanyishwa kwa makundi matano kundi la kwanza likiwa ni agenda ya masuala ya kikatiba kuhusu gharama ya maisha na masuala mengine kundi la pili likiwa masuala ya uchaguzi ambayo yataguzia matokeo ya uchaguzi mkuu uliopita ukarabatu wa mipaka na kuundwa kwa tume ya IEBC suala kuhusu hazina ya kikatiba likiwa la tatu uhalalishaji wa ofisi za kiongozi wa upinzani na waziri mwenye mamlaka ikiwa ajenda katika kundi la tano suala la uvamizi wa vyama vya kisiasa likifunga ajenda hizo tano kuu hafla ya leo imeanzisha rasmi mchakato mzima wa kutafuta maelewano kati ya Kenya Kwanza na Azimio ili kutoa suluhu kamili kwa tofauti zao baada ya uchaguzi mkuu mwaka uliopita. Apple Kamau, TV47 kutoka ukumbi wa Bomas. Amtukia taarifa yake Apollo Kamau kutoka ukumbi wa Bomas kwingineko ni kwamba